Hello guys, today I want to introduce you a puzzle game related to electric circuit. The name is Crack the Circuit, a puzzle game by the universe and more. And when you click on this website, you come to this uh, scene, you start the game. We just click to continue. Uh, here you have blueprints and you connect them, you can raise them. Uh, this is the battery that is the bulb and uh, so you take them and just connect them over here in the first uh, step we have a single bulb so we connect the ends of the bulb to the battery and then the bulb gives light so this the, this is working the, the the in reality it is going to be something like that so uh, you're going to see that here uh, in the second uh, step we have a bulb and a, a, and a, a switch so when i close the switch the bulb is on this means that uh, the bulb is controlled by a switch in ordinary bulbs this is the case you know in household circuits we have usually a switch when you close the switch the bulb is on now now we have two bulbs uh, you should first try to understand how these bulbs are connected so when you disconnect one you see that the other one is also off this means that they are working together working together means connected in series so i take the two and connect them in series to the battery and the schematic diagram is going to be something like this then so this puzzle is also solved then we pass to the next step we have still two bulbs but now when i disconnect one of them the other one is still working this means that they are working independently independently means they are connected in parallel so you connect them in parallel and then you connect their ends to the battery so you are going to have such a diagram okay and in reality you see that both of them are connected to the poles of the battery independently and they work independently and they set to be connected in parallel now i have a switch when i close the switch both of them are on so uh, let me uh, yes i uh, close the switch and when I disconnect one of the bulbs, the other one is also off. This means that the two bulbs are connected in series and they are controlled by the switch. So I'm going to have such a diagram for this circuit. And in daily life, you are going to see them like this. The picture in here shows how they are connected as you see we have a switch and this switch is controlling both of the lamps now let's pass to the next step we have two bulbs when i close the bulb both of them are on so they are both connected to a switch the switch is controlling them but they are independently working this means that I have two bulbs and the two bulbs are connected independently. This means that uh, in parallel, uh, but the switch is controlling both of them. So the switch should be connected as shown in this diagram. And when you close the switch, both of them are on. Okay, we go on. So you see that the game is very nice game. My kids and my students like it a lot. Okay, now 
you see that the, this switch is controlling the bulb and without this bulb uh, this switch is closed this doesn't work we have one another over here this is also the same so this means that uh, we have two switches and two of them must be closed both of them must be closed so that the current flows through the circuit so it is going to be i think something like this okay and here we go next step one of them one of the bulbs is open in the beginning so i connect this directly to the bulb so in the beginning when the switch is open this is connected this is giving light okay and now when i close this one the other one also goes on this means there is one another and the, the, these are working independently this means they are connected in parallel so i'm going to have something like this and now we are in step eight okay now we go on uh, as you see here one of the bulb in the beginning is on and we have a switch when we close the switch the second one is also on it is given light so this means that they are connected in parallel independently and uh, one of them is controlled by a switch so we have such a combination okay we have solved this puzzle as well now we have two switches two bulbs they are connected as you see here so independently they are working independently so i have two bulbs connected independently means parallelly and to the battery as you see here so i think we have such a combination that's it we have three bulbs when one of them is unplugged they are all off so they are all connected in series i say so connecting them all in series is going to be something like this Take the battery, put it here, and then we solve that puzzle too. Here I see two two of the bulbs in the same brightness and less than the other one. So I say that these two, I plug one, the other one is also off. So these two are connected in series. So I have two bulbs connected in series and the other one is working independently. So this one is connected in parallel. So my circuit diagram should be something like this, I think. And that's it. <coughs> One of the bulbs is on. I close the other one. The other two are on. So these two are connected in series together with this switch. And this one is connected in series with that switch. So I have three bulbs. Uh, two of them controlled by one switch. The other one, the third one, is connected in parallel and it is controlled by a third switch. So I think the circuit diagram should be something like this. As you see, I'll check it now. This is on, the other two are on and this is the correct answer to this puzzle. <coughs> now, uh, you see that okay this switch is controlling both of the lamps and this one is controlling only one of the lamps so in the beginning 
let me see I have a switch and I have here a bulb so this is on as you see like this now let's think about the second one when I close the switch this is also on uh, these are in parallel but this the second lamp is controlled by another independent switch so it should something like this you see that here this switch the first switch over here is controlling both of them when the switch is open then both of the lamps are off <coughs> Okay, three lamps I have and they are working independently as I see when you unplug one of them the others are still on so in this case I have three bulbs connected in parallel and they are all connected to the battery so my circuit diagram is something like this let me check again working let me see this one this is also working okay they should be independent but i don't understand i'm sorry this one one of them i mean the one over here is uh, should be connected this way i think why because when this one is off then uh, when this lamp is unplugged then all of them are off so this is in series they can connected in series with these two <coughs> so in the beginning the switches are open and i have a bulb which is on <coughs> so take it and put it here so it should be something like this this is on I have sorry let me make it like this <coughs> I have two another two another lamps um, two and these two are working with independent switches controlled by independent switches so they should be something like this i think okay this game is very fun fun game the kids like it a lot uh -huh. so here we have something new that is a little bit tricky you see when the switch is on the lamp the when the switch is open the lamp is on when you close the switch it is off so this is uh, what we call short circuit i think this should be a short circuit a short circuit let me try so you see the lamp is on but when you close the switch when you close the switch you should uh, the current is not going to flow through this part it is going to shortcut I mean this uh, lamp this bulb is going to be shortcutted uh, short circuited so the current is going to flow that way and no current is flowing through the bulb so this is a short circuit okay <coughs> okay so we have two bulbs and when you close uh, one of the switches one of them is off so let uh, they are working independently by the way uh, working independently let me see again no uh, this is a little bit tricky you see I'll try okay I have two bulbs and a switch and then I have a battery I'll try something like this you see 
So at the beginning, <coughs> both of the lamps, both of the bulbs are on. When I close the switch, one of them goes off. Why? Because this is short circuited. So they are connected in series. Good. Okay, this is a little bit tricky, you see. Short circuits. So when I close this one, this is the bulb is on. When I close the other one, it is off. So let's think about that. When I close one switch, it is on. When both of them are closed, it is not working. When this one is open, it is working. So, let's see. Okay, we are going to continue to that. Here was the switch. Here we have another switch. We have the lamp. Sorry, the bulb over the bulb over there, and we have the battery. And when you close one of the switches, the bulb is on. You close the other one, and it is short circuited, so it doesn't work. So this is the correct answer. I think we have finished the game. So I think you guys, uh, you play this yourself and you suggest it to your kids to your students and i think they are going to learn a lot from this and this is very funny game so i uh, hope you enjoy it see you okay bye for now